It should be established that winter is right now. And of course, that's a double entendre or something of that nature because it is in the earlier portion of January actually winter in terms of the weather. But also in terms of Western civilization, just civilization we're in, it is winter. It is that time where things come into decay, where there's less that is in fruition, that there's less life. And it's seen in the arts, it's seen in all these things. And it's disappointing because everyone's expecting the happening, but it's already. It's already here, and it's whack, and now you got a bunch of white guys in hibernation, which is just hiding in their caves, feeling, feeling for a few centuries or so, but what's interesting is that here in this section of the internet, you're going to have a lot of thinkers that or focus on winter, they're focused on spring, maybe they're thinking ahead, but then you find a few who are still thinking of summer, and they're not really trying to connect it to winter or spring, they're trying to jump up three steps, they're trying to arch down three steps on a stairwell, and they're about to bust their ass because they're not as fit for that as they think they are. What I'm saying is that we're thinking of stuff like making a new imperium for Christianity or all these things, all these ambitious ideas trying to take the civilization to the next level but right now we're win in winter so we can't do that yet we can't think about these new and innovative things that are going to become the new immaculate the new immaculate stage for the west we're not going to have that absolutism anymore. So you got guys thinking about the summer at this point. Thinking about us in our prime. Thinking about us taking it to a new level. But that can't happen yet. Because we're stuck here. Let me try this shit. Fuck. Oh, damn. You can do what I just mentioned. You can focus on an ideal. You can focus on my new white supremacist, uh, pan-American, pan-European sort of movement. But you gotta connect it to the spring and you gotta connect it to the winter. And what you do is for the winter, how are we gonna deal with the consequences of modernity? How are we gonna deal with the fact that There's a violent uprising to any white group or demographic that's just trying to live on with their lives and get out of a field camp. What do you do when they start fighting? How do you avoid stuff like that? Because we're not invested in things 
like MTV, things like the economy and the corporate ladder where the ladder is never facing the right way. It's always facing a direction that means having less kids or no kids, blind careerism, where masculinity is sacrificed. You're in an environment where professionalism is behaving like a total beta male. Where do we go from there? Where adolescence is extended to a ridiculous level. Obviously, we're trying to move on with our lives, maybe become working class people that are just doing our own thing, that we're not trying to bring in people of other races that are third worlders and are totally irresponsible. We're not trying to do any of that stuff. We're just trying to have good, intelligent people in a nice community. And we're going to get wrecked for that. So what do we do about that? How do we successfully hibernate in this winter and get ready for spring where we can actually start focusing on revitalizing on starting political movements that are going to make the West or whatever is left of the West into a healthy environment. An environment of let's say unification environment that's devoid of the dissonance of today and fortnight two weeks ago seventies seventies is trash too and it's obvious that we really don't have a lot of direction at the moment. A lot of people in the reactive sphere are divided or are too busy with their mold bugs and those awkward, short sighted summer ideas that we can't think of yet. The encompassons, the formalism stuff, the segregation related to quantic soul-esque phonology. There's so much that seems stuck in the summer that how are we going to unify for the spring? How are we going to connect all these things? And that's really something that I'm thinking about right now because when I'm advocating for something like nationalism or Aryanism or things of this nature, you can tell that I'm speaking in a spring set of mind. But then when I speak about Christian imperialism and just forming things like that. You can tell I have summer in mind. And when I say other stuff, I have winter in mind. So how do I reconcile all of that and avoid a dumbass series that are reading it and thinking, the keyboard warrior, wannabe right-winged, autistic retards are going to go, hey, but... What you're seeing is faggy as hell. Monarchy then, monarchy now, monarchy forever. I know, but we have to sort this for winter or the summer. There needs to be a connection. I mean, not winter, the spring or the summer. It needs to fall in place. There needs to be a strategy, an order in mind. This is all I have to say at the moment. This is Mr. Wonka 7. I'm rambling on.
at the moment. But hopefully you can make some sense out of what I'm saying. And respect the king. Uh, 